Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hans Martin Jr., your real movie critic. Today, I'm going to be talking about the film The Girl in the Spider's Web. Now, I'm definitely going to be comparing it to the predecessor, which is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Um, even though it's completely different films, um, they do call it a soft reboot uh, from the first one. And, well, here's the thing. Uh, one thing that I do like uh, with The Girl in the Spider's Web is I like how the story is easy, concise, and executed well. Yeah, some people might say uh, it's the same old story, but it was still an entertaining one. You know, unlike uh, the girl with the dragon tattoo, where that story just dragged and dragged and dragged, and man. So that's something I do appreciate about it. Um, and also, uh, in the girl in the spider's web, it has a lot more fun action as well. Now, here's a difference. They changed actors. Claire Foy uh, plays the world role of Lizbeth, you know, after Rooney Mara has did that role greatly. You know, and she was good, don't get me wrong, but it definitely was not the same. Uh, I, it's kind of hard to do another performance than what Rooney Mara did with that character. Uh, and then the interesting thing is uh, Daniel Craig did play um, the other role, um, the, um, Michael or Mikael. Um, but in this movie, he looked a lot younger. And his character wasn't really developed well either. And so he really did not matter, which, you know, I, I didn't really like that. But overall, as I'm talking about the girls in the spider web, it, it is still a fun movie. Um, it's definitely still has that darkness, not as dark as the first one, but it does. I don't know what about rated R European movies, but they do make them dark. And, but I still enjoyed it. I enjoyed the action. Uh, it's still a little, it's still fun to watch. And yeah, it may have some flaws, but you know, I, I appreciate the execution and the action. And that's why I give it my real rating of four stars. Uh, can you compare it to the girl with the dragon tattoo? Yes, sometimes it's not really fair, but it's they're both good movies, bottom line. All right, guys, uh, whether you agree or disagree, uh, comment on any of my social media. Support The Real Movie Critic at gofundme.com slash real-movie-critic. And thank you all for watching. Until the next time, I'll see you there. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to go on my blog at realmovicredit.com. There you can find my links to my social media. You can like me or follow me. But most of all, you can subscribe me on YouTube. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned because more reviews will be coming soon. Alright guys, I'll check you later and I'll see you there.